I sleep on airport floors a lot. In many of my videos, I often find myself taking the cheapest flights I can possibly get, which means my flights leave at 6am or earlier. The only problem with this is that I live multiple hours away from the airport. I decided to compile some clips from some videos I never uploaded, so say hello to my second bed, London Stansted Airport. Long story short, it's now 4 o'clock, we've completely missed the bus. The, the next bus I can get is at 5 o'clock, that'll get us to the airport, and then have it, my uh, COVID test is 6 o'clock. We've successfully made it onto the bus. I am right at the back in the middle, king of the bus. I should make it to Stansted just in time for the COVID test. Apparently there's a lot of traffic, so relying on that, calming down, and it's just, it's all getting so crazy, but hopefully we'll get there in time to be picked up to go to this concert. We have made it to the airport. We're so late, but I've just got to find the uh, testing centers. Hello, hello. I am done. How are we? I'm out. Done. Whereabouts are you? If I go to the outdoor pickup point, I'll meet you in one of the zones there. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's alright. We've okay. made it on. Why are you taking this long? <laughs> That was a crazy evening. All that lies left to do is find our way back to Stansted Airport, one way or another. So, some great news. There's no taxi available to pick me up. I'm walking to the airport. It's 1am. I can't be doing this. There's so many people just sitting or sleeping on the floor already. There's, there's, there's probably about 100 or 200 people in here. There's people everywhere. Every spot I can think of. And I wish that was a joke. It was actually crazy. I guess I'll sleep here on this welcome to Stansted Airport sign. Bed for the night. I was honestly hoping that transition would be so easy to do. Currently 3 a.m. There's just so much noise. Two hours of sleep. On our second trip, I found myself stuck in Birmingham after plans had fallen through, unsure when I would actually be arriving at the airport. Apparently, unless I, can, unless I find a coach earlier, I'm here till 2 a.m. before my bus to London Stansted. And I have a feeling I'll be sleeping on the airport floor again. Thankfully, I managed to get an earlier bus. It is currently 10 p.m. and we have arrived at the bus station in London. We are an hour away from my next bus, which leaves the station at 11.10 to arrive at the airport at midnight. I am looking forward to yet another night on the floor in Stansted Airport. I'm hoping so much that this night will be a better sleep, because last time there were some loud noises that woke me up and kept me awake. Um, Whereas this time I'm praying things will be a bit easier for me. We're on the final bus to Stansted Airport now. We're going to arrive about midnight before I then sleep on the floor yet again. We have just arrived at the uh, airport on the bus. It is exactly midnight and I am so tired. So we're going to go try and find ourselves a place to sleep for the night. Which I expect will be the floor. Thank you. Thank you. If I am extremely lucky, security would be open. Yeah, departures. Departures is completely closed off. There's a lot less people here than there was um, last time we were here. Just a case of finding somewhere to sleep, really. Not by a big sign. Last time we were here, there was more people in here. I think this might be a good spot. Just around here to the right of this bed. So we're going to sit around just here for the night. That'll be where we sleep for the night. Hopefully it's not that loud. Should be able to get some good sleep. I have way too much energy. I'm riding a wave and it's going to come crashing down. I already know it. It's been an awful day. I'm going to try and make it just go uphill from here. This is a security announcement that I am on the drive at the Peugeot 107. The noise cancellation cannot stop those announcements, I tell you that much. Hopefully it'll be a good night's sleep for once. Actually, good morning. It 
is now the morning. I think it's 3 a.m. I haven't fully got an idea what time it is, I'm gonna be honest. I was in a good location when I showed you guys where I, where I was sleeping. Then we got moved and I ended up on a radiator. The metal bars, they're not meant to be comfy, are they? Very ready for security to open and just get through there and get some food in me. I'm now coming into where I'd be expecting to see all places with food open. Currently, all of the shops are closed. I managed to get on the flight, however starving hungry I was. Our trip on the way home included a slight detour to make things cheaper. We have arrived back from our trip and are going to start our journey via Budapest tonight. It is so incredibly windy right now, but we are heading onto our plane. So we are currently in the departure lounge. It's about 1am, flight leaves at 6.40 or something, something around that time to get me home by 8. Well, I have the place to myself, whole things online. Now, I guess I've just got to make use of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's just past 1am. I am probably going to go find somewhere to sleep now. And I think I'm going to just kind of sleep on a chair if I can. My final night on the airport floor was for an amazing trip to Copenhagen and it was actually the first night I slept well. A small little area. I'll come back here and I'll sleep here for the night because that's where I slept last time and it was all right. I'll see you in the morning. I finally got myself to sleep. I was, I was perfectly asleep, it was amazing. Eyes closed, just sleep. In comes this lady. Everybody get up, everybody get up. Can you get up please, everyone up. Every single person has to, gets individually woken up. You can go through now, go through, go through, go through. And that's where we are now. However painful it was sleeping on the airport floors, the trips were all completely worth it. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next episode.